My colleague Hannah Hoxter discussed the global distribution of COVID-19 vaccines with Dr. Margaret Harris, a spokesperson for the World Health Organization. Reports say a small group of rich countries have bought up more than half of the promised doses of leading vaccine candidates. Here is what Dr. Harris had to say about that. Well, we were certainly concerned about this possibility right from the start because in previous pandemics and previous outbreaks, that has been an issue. So again, it's one of the remarkable things throughout in all this suffering, we are seeing such greatness of humanity and the countries got together and set up something called the ACT Accelerator, part of which is the COVAX facility. And now over 100, 189 countries have joined which represents 90% of the world's population, have joined together so that the rich countries in that facility are ensuring that the poor countries will also have access to the vaccines. Can I ask you then, AstraZeneca, in that report we were talking about earlier, AstraZeneca says it will work with Russia to investigate whether their two coronavirus vaccines candidates could be combined successfully how important do you think collaboration is in the global vaccination effort? Collaboration is critical. And this kind of collaboration, this kind of solidarity is what's going to get us all out of trouble. And it also, it's, 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 it's unprecedented. Um, we as have seen so much suffering and yet we are seeing so much solidarity in the scientific community. So that kind of collaboration, transparency, sharing of data, sharing of results is exactly how we're all going to use the science in solidarity to achieve real solutions. Now, the AstraZeneca jab, as well as China's Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines, don't need to be stored at ultra-low temperatures. How big do you think this will be in terms of an advantage? Well, certainly the low temperatures are a logistical challenge. Now, we have used other vaccines that require low temperatures, such as the Ebola vaccine that we've used in very, very difficult circumstances. So it can be done. But certainly any kind of difficulty you remove is, is very, very helpful because we need to vaccinate the planet. We are going to be vaccinating people in all kinds of circumstances. And it's not the vaccines that will help stop this pandemic. It's the vaccination. You have to be able to get it into people's arms every in every country or around the world at the same time.